you were saying edge. Edge, it shall be. It's that time of the week, the time for the Lake Parsha show. Parshas Hazin. Being a Jew is wonderful, but we have a lot of rules, don't we? I mean, they're godly commandments, but even so, as amazing as they are, sometimes they could feel annoying or even burdensome. Well, in this week's Torah portion, Moses is exactly 120 years old. It is his birthday. Happy birthday to him. I don't know if that's appropriate to sing, so forget it. But it is also the day that he will pass on. Moses gets up to give his final speech, to give his final address to the nation of Israel, to us. And the final address is a song. This whole scroll, this book of rules, as we can look at it, as we can see it that way, is a song. Hashem told Maisha it is of utmost importance to leave the nation with song. Your final message to the people before you go. The last, the final, most critical piece of information that you can impart is at the Torah. That this big book of rules, do's and don'ts, is a song, a tune, a rhythm. There was no keynote speech, but there were keys and notes in the heavenly song of this week's Parsha. A huge lesson from Parshas Hazinu is that the Torah isn't just all about what's permitted, what's forbidden, what's allowed, what's restricted. This book of rules, as we can look at it, as we can see it that way, is a song about you and God. It is a beautiful expression of our love with God, our marriage with God, God's love for us, and our love for God. The marriage contract that God gave us and this is a tremendous cause of joy. But I've got a little bit of 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 a little bit